Hello family, welcome to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Angela and this channel is all about beauty, fashion, and life. Some of you have asked me to do an outfit of the day. Now, if you don't know, or if you're not aware, I am a nurse. I don't work at the bedside. I have not worked at the bedside in quite some years. I do work in a leadership role. So I have the option of wearing scrubs to work or wearing business attire. So instead of doing an outfit of the day of what I wore last week, I decided since I have to get my clothes together anyway, that I put together some outfits or some pieces in my wardrobe um, for this upcoming week. So I've put together five outfits and just wanted to show you why I put these outfits together and what they look like. Almost all of the pieces I've had for quite some time, but if I can find links to some of them or something similar, I will put them in the description box below the video. This is the pause section, but I'm missing something. And while I was putting these outfits together, I decided that I would do some color blocking. I don't know if you're familiar with color blocking. It's when you have a one solid color on the bottom and a different solid color on the top or vice versa. And the colors can be anything you feel that you want to put together. So that was my idea for this particular week's outfit. So I hope you enjoyed. Now, if that's something you're interested in, stay tuned. Now, let's get started. Before I get started, my outfit of the day is this beautiful, beautiful dress by Road. I love this dress. This is a fit and flare, a dress that's kind of wider up top, cinches you in the waist, and then goes out a little bit. This particular silhouette is perfect for every body shape. Whether you're athletic, have an athletic frame like myself, I'm really skinny, I don't have hips, but it makes me look like I have hips or if you're a curvy girl, this just skims your hips and it still tucks in your waist and gives you a nice look up top. These come in square necks, V necks, this very different. Um, they come in short dresses, long dresses. I like this particular one. I like the length of this one. I like my dresses a little bit short because I'm a petite, but I also like them at my knee or right below my knee as well. But I love this one, you know, I love a little dress that's gonna give me a little twirl action. <laughs> I, I love a troll action, but I have two row dresses and this one I have in black. It's a true wrap dress. It has a little skinny string here that ties and I absolutely love it. I think it's beautiful. I love the puff sleeves of this. I purchased this last year. I'll look and see if I can find another one or see if I can find you a link to this particular dress. The earrings I have on here are old. I've had these for quite some years now. And I chose these particular earrings because of course I wanted a pop of color with all this black. My ring I purchased online. And this is my favorite uh, bracelet. This is a Louis Vuitton bracelet with the little locket here. I've had this probably two and a half, three years. I've worn it in the shower by accident. It is the coated canvas like the purse. Nothing has faded on it. I absolutely love it. I love the brown. I love the gold. That's just my aesthetic. And I think it's a beautiful, beautiful piece of arm candy. Now, my scent of the day is Killian Good Girl Gone Bad. I'll show you the bottle. Here's the bottle here. And it comes in a beautiful white little case. But this is the bottle. Killian, the designer of this perfume, is a part of the Hennessy family. By Hennessy, I mean like Hennessy, the cognac Hennessy, the Henny Hen Hennessy. This perfume is beautiful. First of all, she is an investment. She is not cheap. She is an investment, but it is a powerhouse fragrance. It's not floral, it's not fruity. This is a, she is a CEO. This is a, she has arrived to the party. Hear ye, hear ye. This is a boss babe scent. This is a good grown woman with a pocketbook and some diamond studs. This, that's the kind of fragrance this is. She's, I don't have any diamond studs though. I do have some cubic zirconium studs. I don't have any diamond studs and that's okay. That's not my thing, but that's what she represents. It is a, bold fragrance. It doesn't have a lot of sillage. It just wraps you in the scent bubble. It's beautiful. It's just a powerful, not like that overwhelming, powerful scent, but it's like a first lady of the church type scent. She's just amazing. I can't remember how much it costs, but I know it's not cheap. 
it's not cheap, but it's worth the penny. And it does last quite a long time. I've put, put this on in the morning and worked for like eight hours and I can still smell it at the end of the day. So it's worth the investment. The shoes I chose for this dress are these shoes by Vince Camuno. I think you've talked, or I'm sorry, I think I've talked about these shoes before. These are some of my favorite heels because they're like three and a half inches. So they're extremely comfortable. They have a slight uh, square toe, but not the wide square toe. So they're very comfortable, has a nice strap. I like this particular color because it's like a snakeskin print. So it's a nude shoe for me. So you can barely see it. It makes my legs look extremely long. I also purchased these in yellow and red because when I find something that I like, I do purchase it in every color. I did find a link for these below, so I'll put them in the description box, but these are a great heel. If you're looking for a heel where you don't want to be too high, where you feel like you're falling over, but you like that height, to elongate your legs, to just feel extra special, these are the shoes for you, okay? Now, let's get started. Okay, fam, this is outfit number one. Again, I want to do some color blocking. Although the pants are kind of polka dot, these are some trousers I picked up from Ralph Lauren on sale sometime last year. For all these outfits, I'm gonna be wearing these um, sling bags. I'm sure if the sling bag. These sling bags that I purchased from Topshop probably a year and a half or two ago. They were very, very popular and just completely sold out. I did find some similar, however, from Nine West. I'll put a link to those in the description box below and I will probably order a pair as well. But I like this combination. I love the color of this blouse. I picked this blouse because of the color and the um, fabric and just the detail on the fabric. It's very 3D, it has some little, I don't know what you call these things here. You can kind of feel the polka dots on the shirt. So it's very interesting, not just in color, but in texture. And I thought it just paired very well with these pants. They just kind of played off one another. I love this combination. And although the shoes are black and white and the pants are blue and white, it still works really, really well. Just a very good balance of colors. Um, they kind of bounce and play off each other. And for reference, when I go to work, when I wear business attire, I do wear white lab jackets. So basically you're gonna see this portion of my shirt, not just the whole shirt, but you'll see just like a link because I don't fasten the shirt. I do wear my, I'm sorry, I don't fasten the jacket. I do wear the jacket open, but you will see like the front line of my shirt. Why don't you put on a lab jacket, huh? Okay. Hold please. So now you can see entirely what this outfit looks like. I have my lap jacket on here. I don't fasten my lap jacket, so it's open here. And notice that I changed my earrings. I only wear studs or something with a small, small dangle to work. This is a professional look for nursing. We're very conservative. Uh, profession so we don't do the big hoops we don't do danglies we just do a little stud or maybe just a tiny dangle but these imitation pearls that I probably got from Walmart or Target or some other H&M that I'm sure I didn't pay over ten dollars for I think every woman should have a pair of pearls whether they're real or whether they're imitation it does not matter I think I have both because I've uh, vacation in the Philippines once so I do have both and I got my pearl earrings from there but yes this is the outfit and this is what it would look like if I wore it to work which I probably will first day of work this week now this is outfit number two she is a moment she is a moment look at this blue this blue would look good on almost every shade of color, skin color there is. It is a beautiful, beautiful, vibrant shade of blue. This shirt I purchased from Express probably two or three years ago, but it's still relevant. It still has the bellowy sleeves and the cut is just, just so feminine and dainty. It has the cute little covered buttons here. So, you know, it was really, uh, it was made really well. The color is just vibrant and the fabric is very flowy. I just love this fabric. But I love this, how bright and vibrant this shirt is. <laughs> you did it again. I did you not. I did not. I said bright and vibrant. You said bright and vibrant. <laughs> ah. 
I love the vibrancy of this color in contrast to the vibrancy of these pants. I think this color would be considered a kiwi. They're both very bright, vibrant colors and they just contrast off one another very, very well. This is a perfect color block outfit. These pants are honestly probably a recent purchase. I might have purchased these maybe two, three weeks ago from Zara but I love a nice pair of slacks. Y'all know I love a slack moment. It has a little pinstripe down the front. It does not have pockets, but it does have the uh, belt loops. I didn't wear a belt with it today, but these are a great pair of pants. They're not really, really high waist, but they're probably mid-rise, which is honestly perfect for a petite torso like mine. But I fell in love with these, the color of these pants, and I think this is a beautiful, beautiful, well put together, very feminine, very chic business, very business appropriate outfit for myself anyway. You know, I love color. Now this is look number three. This is not a huge contrast of colors, but it's still color blocking because you have the cream off-white shirt here, and you have the sky blue, slightly, this is a Carolina blue uh, pants here, but I love this outfit. This shirt I picked up in Singapore. My husband and I went to Singapore or Bali about a year and a half ago, and I picked it up out of a shop in the mall, and it was on a mannequin, and I thought that was beautiful. I love the draping detail of it all, and even though it's sleeveless, I will have on my white lab coat, so that's okay. These pants I picked up sometime this year from Zara. These are the high-waisted slacks. I love these because they have pockets. They do have belt loops. I don't wear belts a lot, but sometimes I do. But for the most part, I don't. But because these have belt loops, I probably would. But I love this color combination. It's very, very chic. It goes well with the shoes. Again, I have on the sling backs. Uh, <laughs> I have on the sling backs um, still, and I kept with my earrings. But this is a great color block combo, but I love this look. So this would be Sunday, Monday, Tuesday's look. Now this is outfit number four. If you've watched my channel, if you've seen these pants before, I love the color of these pants. I think this is a raspberry ish type color and I've worn this shirt before as well. I love the color blocking of this purple and green. I've seen lots of outfits in purple and green, but I love this. I love the lace of this shirt. It gives it extra character. You know, you just, that extra oomph to the shirt. It's a very uh, elastic, <laughs> oh God, no. <laughs> It's a very stretchy type shirt, so it's very, very comfortable. But I love the color blocking of these two colors together. I think they work really, really well. Reminds me of a purple and green, now and later candy. Remember back in the day? I purchased these pants from Zara. They have these every season in different colors. Right now they have like a linen type pair that I wore in a couple of videos ago but they're kind of cropped a little bit, wide leg cropped pants, and I think they look really cute with these slingbacks. You can actually see the entire shoe now. But because I'm a petite, the pants hit me right at the ankle, which is okay for me, but I love these pants. I love the silhouette of them, and I love the two colors together. So I think this is gonna be a fun combination to wear. Well, this is the final outfit family. This is another shirt from Express, the same shirt as the blue one. It still has the covered button detail here and the bellowy sleeve. Do not sleep on Express for everyday office business attached blouses. Beautiful. I've had this as long as if I have, mm -mm. I've had this one as long as I've had the, <laughs> <laughs> I've had this blouse just as long as I've had the blue one that's similar to this. I'm sorry, one more time. You got it. I purchased this blouse the same time I purchased the blue one, so I've had this for quite a while. The quality is amazing and it stood the test of time. These are some pants, some recent purchase. These pants are a these pants are a recent purchase from Styled. I can't remember what site I purchased them on. I did get them him because they were quite long for my five, three and a half frame, even with heels. These are a linen cotton blend, so they're and they're very wide leg, which I absolutely love a wide leg pant. They have a little pleated detail here in the front and they're high waisted. They also have the belt loop. I don't have a belt loop on with them, 
but I prefer to tuck my blouse and kind of pull it out a bit. This shirt is a off-white, soft, very, very soft, yellowy color. I don't know if, how it's coming off on camera, but that's the color of the shirt. I thought the contrast in the colors and the contrast of the fabrics was a great uh, combination for this look, and I absolutely love it. And it goes well with these pumps as well. Well, that's it, family. I really hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know in the comments section if you like to see more of these. This is my first one. I could probably do one at least every two weeks or so. If that's something you all like, I would love to do it if, if that's okay with you. Again, now don't forget if you have... Mm. Now, don't forget, if you have not subscribed to my channel, go ahead and hit that subscribe button below and become a part of the Angela Michelle YouTube family. I would greatly, greatly appreciate it. Thank you again and have a blessed, blessed day. Bye-bye.